Hello and welcome to our next tutorial. In this we're going to actually start building some HTML that belongs to us. We are going to be working through the Mozilla Developer Network uh, tutorial part 5. And so in this one we're going to actually build uh, some, some, some UI. Now this, this here is an important diagram. I encourage you to read about this. This is sort of the model view controller. Uh, model view controller is the, the pattern that these applications work. Model is sort of the storage. The view is the user interface that you see that's produced, and the controller is the taking and routing of the incoming request to the appropriate view, and then moving from one view to another. So we'll talk about this in some detail. Right now we're sort of blasting through. Um, we're going to build initially a page that says catalog, and then we're going to work on some of these other ones in upcoming. So. So the first thing, this, this is something that has already been done. That doesn't change. And now we're going to in, edit this catalog slash urls.py. Go into my get. So I'm into, oops, clear. So go into catalog. And so I am going to take a look at the um, urls.py. And um, I, this was empty, so you add this line. But now, if you go to my documentation here, we've got to add these other lines here, these lines right there. They're in the documentation. Just get them right, add them in. And so I've got them right here. Um, that's just some, some comments. And so these have to do with, um, Those have to do with uh, serving static files, which we'll talk about in uh, some detail later. So you got to get your URLs file right. So this is from the, the, the Mozilla tutorial. This is stuff that I'm asking you to do. And then we edit this file. Um, well, first we make some folders, make a direct folder called templates, make a folder called static, make a subfolder called CSS, and then we edit this. So these already exist. And so uh, this is something that just comes straight from the, uh, um, and so I changed this right here. So this is a little bit different. And this is something that the auto grader needs so that it knows who actually is writing this website. It's an equivalent to your name, but it's not your name. So if you're using the auto grader, it'll tell you that you've got to add this line in this base view. And so this base is something that we extend. It's kind of an object-oriented pattern for views where you have this base view and then you make a view that extends the base view. Um, right? And so <clears throat> edit the views.py. I should add a little, I'll add a little note here about check the uh, auto grader. Oh, here it is. Auto grader may require the addition of a meta. Yeah. And then create this file static style CSS. This is the file that we're going to be serving that right way. And then edit the index.html, templates index.html. Templates index.html. And this extends, basically tells it to take everything that's in that base and then make use of it. And this block content replaces the block content block. Uh, the auto grader also tells you to change this from the sample, but the rest of this uh, pretty much comes straight from the sample. So we get that right. And then, so this, the tab under your, oh, I guess I got to open myself a new window. So as you're messing around with these files, it's a good idea to, from time to time, like if the urls.py or the views.py, they're sort of configuration files, and then just reload your application um, so that when you get the refresh, you can, you get the new stuff. And so there are some times that you have to do this reload before you refresh this page or you don't see the stuff. And so when you see it, um, uh, away you go, and you'll see that if I do a view source on here, you see this. The I changed how this style sheet was supposed to be done, and I added this meta tag for the auto grader, 
and the auto grader right here tells you remove the super user that you did in a previous one or take points off and then add this meta tag and then you run the, the auto grader there. So um, that's basically it. Let me do a um, get diff so you can see. Did I lose my console? Somehow I'm always trying to open in a new tab and then I lose my console. But the console comes back. Here's the console. So if I do a get status, you can see all the things. And then I can say get add static get add templates and now I can do another get status and you can see all the added files so these are the two files that I added these are the two files that I modified and again everything that I've been told to do uh, is in there and then if you're following along on github you know get status I can see these and then it, I just the add and now I'm going to com com commit and say the uh, the views tutorial complete Get commit. That's all the files, and that's the message. Views tutorial complete. And then I can say get push. Paste in my GitHub password and push that all up. And then just so that I can go back to this, I'm going to add a tag. Actually, I'm going to call this one home get tag home and then get push origin minus minus tags get push origin minus minus tags so now I should do a get status and everything should be up to date okay so that's sort of a pretty quick walkthrough of uh, this little bit of building the home page and, uh, and uh, increasingly, I'm going to let you do some of your own work and just read the tutorials that come from Amazon. Cheers.